Hi guys, had a couple of questions about solar powering a couple of my recent projects that I've been working on. One was the miniature train set. Could I put a solar panel on that and get it to run? And the other was this, what was it? Um, what a funny name, I'm trying to remember what it is. There's the box. Oh yeah, Hot Deer. Yeah, I knew, thought it was a strange name. Right, so this one runs off a single lithium-ion battery, so 3.7 volts. And these run off a single AA battery, so one and a half volts. Now, I understand the question because I've been doing a lot of work with solar projects recently. Uh, a lot of them involving these solar garden lights. So the question was, could I use one of those solar panels to run one of these? Um, and the answer is no. <laughs> it doesn't take very much power to actually run an LED. It takes a lot more power to run the motor in that train. So that solar cell there, um, if we put the sun on, okay, and then measure, can we see that? Does that help? Don't know. So we've got the sun shining on there, and if we go across the tags, which happen to be just there, uh, 1.8 volts. That's actually not bad. Turn the light off. Yeah, you've got just under a volt coming from the light that's just off the screen there. So, with that, say about 1.8 volts uh, can we link directly from there to this one probably not not easily Tell you what I'll do, I'll, I'll solder a bit of wire on there because we need to get onto the on off tag, onto there. Put a couple of wires on there so if I just test it with this one and a half volt battery so that's running so in theory switched off if I just go straight across that battery there should be charge in there well, only just enough that, that did half a turn and then it died do that again right. so there's obviously not much charge on there 
No. All right. Well, that's not a good example because it's not obviously not fully charged. Well, having said that, when you switch it on, turn that off. Now we've obviously used up whatever charge there was. Okay, well, what we're going to do is try it directly on the um, solar panel anyway. So we'll forget about the fact that that one's already discharged. Right. Okay, so we're connected. Nothing. And we soldered straight through. Nothing. There's my battery. Yeah, it's running. I don't know if you can see that because it's off the screen there. Rub it up against there so we can hear it. Right, that's running. So running on a one and a half volt battery, not running off there. Uh, put that that way up. Can we see the meter? Turn the meter on. Getting nothing. Disconnect that. I can get so the wires are sticking out so we can get to them. At 1.6, are we seeing that at all? Yeah, 1.6. So that's with that panel, this panel, which is a bit bigger. Shut that out of the way. This panel is giving us, just check we can see the me hold that on there. We're getting about six and a half volts, nearly seven volts. Put that on here. Still nothing. So it's not the voltage. Try it the other way round, just in case it prefers to run one way and not the other. Nothing. Okay, six and a half volts. Hold that one on there. Hold that one on there. 
it just drops away straight away. I think we can just about see that meter. Yeah, we can. So it's not voltage. That's not what the issue is. It's capacity. Or, yeah. The cell's capacity to give you current flow. Hope that makes some sort of sense. So there's not much point in trying to plug it into there because that one wants three and a half volts at least, 3.7 volts. And we can't even run this one, which runs off one and a half volts. You'd need a significantly bigger solar panel or you need a motor that's designed to run on low current. Uh, the ones in those solar fluttering butterflies that I've got, or in fact the one that's out on the shed at the moment is a fluttering hummingbird. That one's got a low current motor, so it does run with um, directly off a solar panel. It doesn't have much torque. I hope that answers the question. If you imagine that, that struggles to actually tow a few trucks with the one and a half volt battery. So the weight of a suitable sized solar panel, it obviously needs to be bigger than that one. Is going to be more than, more than it can actually push. So even if you could get the motor running, it wouldn't have the power to push it along because it'd be much bigger than that. Before I put everything away, I'll just say if you look in the video description, there will be a link to my solar powered cars because I have done quite a few, but they're not. They're not using that sort of motor. Um, the ones that do seem to run quite well are the ones that got the tiny coreless motors and a big gear reduction gearbox so that even though they've got very little torque they're spinning nice and fast and by the time it gets to the final gear it's turning very slowly but it's doing it with the tiny motor doing it. Did that make any sense? Check out the video description for the playlist, Solar Powered Cars. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.